Hydrogen sulfide, molecular formula H2S, has long been known as a toxic gas and is commonly recognized as the offensive odor of rotten eggs. Although quite poisonous at high concentrations, scientists have recently discovered that, at low concentrations, H2S can actually have beneficial physiological effects by reducing blood pressure and acting as an anti-inflammatory agent. Even more intriguing is the discovery that our body actually expresses enzymes capable of producing its own H2S and that misregulation of this endogenous H2S is associated with a number of disease states including hypertension, Down syndrome, and diabetes. Despite this recent interest in H2S, it remains very challenging to study in living systems due to a lack of methods for its real-time detection. Until recently, detecting H2S required tissue or cellular processing techniques that precluded its utilization in living intact specimens. In a paper recently published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, my colleagues Professor Chris Cheng, graduate student Vivian Lin, and I have developed a new class of live cell fluorescent probes for the imaging of endogenous H2S using confocal microscopy. Our approach was to identify a chemical handle that would selectively react with H2S over other biological molecules. We identified the azide functional group as one that could be selectively transformed into an amine by H2S under physiological conditions. We mounted this functional group onto a carefully chosen molecular scaffold such that it would transform the probe from a colorless compound to a highly fluorescent rhodamine dye. This is rhodamine 110. This is the product form after one of our probes reacts with H2S. We can synthesize the probe from this. This is in solid form. It's a, it's a chemical. I'm going to dissolve it in some methanol. I'm going to dissolve, put it in solution so we can see the fluorescence. It's dissolved in methanol. I was going to mix it up. So this is the product that gets generated after our probes react with H2S. Um, it goes from being a clear colorless compound to a colored compound that fluoresces strongly upon being excited with light. These probes show a robust response to H2S and are very selective versus other reactive biological molecules. Furthermore, we have optimized the physical and chemical properties so as to maximize the retention inside of living cells and further increasing their sensitivity. In order to demonstrate that these probes could be used to in image endogenous H2S generated for signaling purposes, we applied them in a cellular model of angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is the process of new blood vessel formation and is vitally important during embryonic development in the female menstruation cycle. However, it is also utilized by cancerous tumors to provide the nutrient support they need to maintain their high levels of growth. Importantly, it's been demonstrated that H2S is needed for angiogenesis but no one's ever directly visualized H2S generated during this process. In this time-lapse video, we have used our probe to image endogenous H2S in endothelial cells cultured from a human umbilical vein. As you can see, the cells respond by ruffling their cellular membranes migrating to, and migrating to new positions, actions that are known to occur during the initiation of angiogenesis. Furthermore, a steady increase in the fluorescence intensity from our probes is observed as this process continues, indicating H2S production. We anticipate that these new probes will provide a powerful new tool for scientists to begin to unravel the cellular mechanisms that lead to H2S production. In this regard, we have used these probes to identify the cellular signaling pathways that lead to H2S production in blood vessel formation. We next turned our attention towards hydrogen peroxide, another emerging reactive signaling molecule. And so we hypothesized that perhaps it was necessary for H2S generation in the system. Quite remarkably, we found that when we used various treatments to eliminate hydrogen peroxide production inside the cell, this reduced the levels of H2S. This is interesting because while hydrogen peroxide is a pro-oxidant, Hydrogen sulfide is an antioxidant. The link between these two molecules indicates that the cell has learned to simultaneously harness these two chemical opposites to orchestrate the intricate signaling events that lead to blood vessel formation.